Hi, I'm Dan, and let's drink some LaCroix. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Dan Drinks LaCroix. My name's Dan, your host, and I'm glad you could be here with me today. Before we dive into the video this week, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed to these videos, as well as you who've commented. Whether or not you've been watching this channel since it started or are new to it, I want to say welcome and thank you for your continued support. And now, for some questions. JT Nelson writes, So back in the day, we used to mix soda at the skating rink and call the drink Suicide. Poor name, but it was the 80s. I get you. He, his question continues, what do you think about successfully mixing of the LaCroix flavors? Well, JT Nelson, I think that is a great question. Uh, so what would happen if you were to mix every flavor of LaCroix? Um, I'm really curious as to how that would taste. And I think once I get a few more videos done, I might start trying to combine flavors. Uh, I imagine that if you use every flavor out there, um, right now, the, the coffee would likely overwhelm it, um, maybe even the cola as well. Um, but that's a really good idea. Thanks, JT Nelson. Next up, Kelly France writes, Can you do a LaCroix How It's Made video a la Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Well, Kelly France, I would very much like to do that. I'm hoping that once quarantine lets up and COVID kind of dies down, that I can go to La Crosse, Wisconsin, right across the river, and hopefully see where LaCroix was first made. And maybe if this channel gets popular enough, uh, we'll be able to do a tour of the factory. Although they do keep uh, pretty tight, uh, tight lips on just what all is in LaCroix. Uh, you can Google that and see uh, that the company doesn't really like to talk about what they essence their flavors with. Uh, but I hope to. That would be awesome. Thanks, Kelly. And finally, Michael Simon writes, longtime follower, first time commenter. Welcome, Michael. I tried, uh, recently tried Tangerine LaCroix and found the flavor very bold. To be honest, I'm not sure I appreciate the boldness of the flavor. When you drink LaCroix, do you prefer subtle or bold flavors? Which flavors do you find particularly bold or subtle? Michael, this is a great question. Uh, so it really depends upon my mood, whether or not I'm, I'm craving a, a bold or a subtle flavor. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, lime is kind of my go-to. Uh, I like it because it's subtle. It's not like I'm, I'm drinking like corn syrup, lemon, lime flavors like other drinks. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, but I also take the point that to those who aren't used to drinking essence, sparkling water, they might be looking for a little bit more of a bold flavor. Uh, and that's why peach pear or orange or tangerine, uh, they, they, they do have bigger flavors. Um, and that's a good way to think about it. It's a big flavor. And I think that that is a really good transition for people, maybe going from, from artificial soft drinks to, uh, to soft drinks like LaCroix. Uh, so what do you like? I, I encourage each and every one of you to let me know in the comments. Do you like subtle or bold flavors of sparkling water? Well, thank you all for those questions and comments. Keep them coming right down below, and you might get to see your comment read and responded to by me right here on the channel. Thanks! All right, friends, our review this week is going to be of Raz Cranberry LaCroix. Many of you might not have heard of this flavor, as they recently switched it over from Cran Raspberry to Raz Cranberry. The packaging and box, though, do indicate that these are, it's the same flavor, just with a new name and new packaging. So, let's get into it. Here we go. And let's get this into a glass. Nice. Well, here we go. Here's my review of Raz Cranberry. Now, it should be worth noting that I've had this flavor back when it was Cran Raspberry, and so I might mess up and say the wrong name, but for uh, according to the can and to the box, 
It is the same flavor, but with a new uh, Raztastic name. So let's try it. This is Raz Cranberry. All right, so already, um, raspberry and cranberry are not my favorite flavors. Um, and this one is being served uh, at the fridge temperature, so it's probably like 38, 42 degrees right in there. You can see it uh, condensating already on the can and glass. Um, the smell is super fruity. You get a lot of the berry coming out, uh, but it's, it's not... It's not unpleasant, I assume, if you enjoy these, um, those berries. Yeah, it, it's, it's very robust in its flavor. I can see why this one's so popular, um, but it's not for me. It's not my favorite flavor. I don't, I don't really care for artificial berry, um, and even real berries, uh, raspberry and cranberry are not my favorites. I'm more of a a blackberry guy, a strawberry guy. Um, yeah, let's, let's keep going. Yeah, I could see this, this pairing really well with, um, with a gin. And uh, once again, we'll bring in some of that mint from the other video. That, that could be really good. Uh, or just having this as is, out of the can, out of the glass, on ice. Uh, it is a very refreshing beverage. Um, most LaCroix, if not all LaCroix flavors are going to be that tasty, or are going to be that refreshing. Yeah, Raz Cranberry. You know what, this would actually complement uh, certain espressos really well, uh, and might help bring out some of the berry flavors in some of your favorite coffee or espresso. Uh, not everyone can taste those within every sort of bean or roast, uh, but I could easily see this pairing well uh, with one of those. So what do you think? Have you ever tried Raz Cranberry LaCroix? Or back when it was Cran Raspberry LaCroix? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Yeah, not too bad. I don't think I'll keep it around all the time, but it's, uh, it's pretty tasty. Well, friends, let me know what you think about Raz Cranberry LaCroix, and uh, I'm going to get back to enjoying this lovely late spring, early summer day. So wherever you are, stay hydrated, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!